Well, here's a little video of the Ultimate High Lift. Um, I'm going to do another big mod on it. Um, a couple things I wanted to do with this video is just to let everybody know about the new Iger um, speed controller. Uh, you know, I played around a lot with the Tekken and the Iger, and um, you know, the Tekken was a little finicky and was good. Uh, did a couple cool adjustments. Um, but overall, when I tried and tested um, for my setup, the Iger was more superior. Um, it actually uh, a little bit smoother on, you know, trying to deliver the power and, um, you know, setup wasn't that bad on it either. So it was pretty good. But I'm just doing a quick little video to show the next uh, big mod for the high lift is I am actually working on a custom, custom front. Uh, hood I want to be able to see I want to be able to see my motor and everything so this is what I got going so far I was able to cut out the other front hood actually painted I should have done this all before but uh, if you take a razor blade and you're really really careful um, was kind of difficult but uh, I figure I might have to do a little painting touch up here in a little bit but this is actually what it looks like again this bumper is mounted maybe now with this thing is off it's hard to see but uh you know underneath here are a couple yeah a little really hard to see but what i had to do is a little 90 bracket and then mount that onto the frame so the bumper is solid onto the frame so if you pull on that whole bumper it is supported and you could pull with the winch and it can support the whole weight of the truck um, because winches are important if not that whole winch would just run off and again that winch is mounted flush way up in there so from a side view you can't even see there's a winch so from a front the winch is really clean but now we're working on this hood mount um, I just cleaned this up. I'm going to uh, have to go down to Orchard and to see uh, what kind of um, hinges. They make some hinges you can get for this uh, cabinet hinges. I'm probably going to do something similar to a hinge. Maybe something similar to a hinge like one of these. Um, it, it can actually pop out. It's really difficult to do two hands, but... Uh, you could pop it out so you could actually mount this on the back firewall so I'm gonna probably have to go get some smaller of these try to mount it up inside inside here like that and then make it so this mounts to the hood and then every time you close it it will actually have spring tension but uh, this is what it will look like I'll try to get a little better shot of this I will have to take the hood and um, get the hood on a little hinge but once we get it all done <laughs> it, it, it sat in there one time once you get it all done you got a hood and then you can just we'll prop this up and we'll get a, uh, a little hinge on it but um, that's gonna be pretty nice to be able to look in there and look down in there and see your gear and motor everything all nice and clean this is working all the wires are ran so uh, there's no more wires to run with lighting and everything else. So this is what I'm working on. I will send another vid, maybe add this vid with another vid when I uh, start getting the rest of it assembled. But now you can kind of see what it's going to look like having a hood on a front mount. High, ultimate high lift. And again, I'll just do it. I don't care if anybody's seen the back, but this is the back. And again, we just have it where the lipo snaps right in here and just goes in here. And I flip over this little clip to hold my lipo in. And that shows everything. Again, the three speed transmission is now uh, gearing for the transmission is now back here on a servo. Um, that helped back there. And I did a video of this one already, but uh, I will be adding, I'm adding an on off switch here. So uh, when everything is powered up, all you have to do is uh, just reach reach back in here to flip a on-off switch uh, 
instead of having to reach in and do anything else, I mean, I want the thing to be really just flipping a switch, getting it done, and uh, that's it. So I'll do this video. I'll hopefully I get another. This was just today's project and getting the hood apart, and uh, we will start uh, getting it together so you can see what's going on. All right. So this my Tamiya High Lift, just doing a hood mount. Um, <clears throat> wanting to try to make a hood uh, open up like a normal hood, um, went and got a cabinet hinge. Uh, had to do a little mo modifying to the hinge. Um, mounted the hinge right to the uh, gear up motor down conversion. So the motor is right underneath, right where you would. Uh, find a motor right up inside the chassis can't really see it <laughs> too good there but um so yeah just a uh, gate hinge in here um a cabinet hinge and then basically what this will do is once you get everything mounted basically once you get everything mounted you'll have this hinge and the hinge will just come up and then completely move up and out of the way and then once you have a spacer on there this is going to mount uh, right here and then this will just open and close and it'll look something like this you just pop this down And then once I have, uh, I got to do some epoxy in, epoxy the hood. I'll have a spacer about that thick. And then this is going to go on here. And then when everything is down and in there, it'll be a nice clean mount hood. After I do all the painting, you can see that it fits pretty flush there. It's um, going to be all flush here. I haven't yet mounted. I got to put some mounts on the inside that bring this in. But um, overall, uh, after everything is all done and in and setting in the right place, we will get this thing to be. Well, I'm gonna put some. Um, I'm gonna put some aluminum braces, and the aluminum braces are gonna go, you know, just off the one bolt hole. And I'm just gonna bring it up, make like a little 45 degree angle, bring a flat piece of aluminum over, and then I'm gonna bolt it right to the hole here. So this piece will be a piece of an aluminum um, that's gonna hold this fender here. And then I'll do the same with a piece of aluminum here, going down, um, mounting onto the fender uh, into that hole. And then that'll keep this whole thing uh, nice and tight and flush right up against this little this little piece right here so when everything's all said and done I think I'll do some serious epoxy and gluing and get this thing back together I did have it working um I I did made sure I made sure that everything fit um, basically everything is working opening and closing nice and flush and um, uh, now I just have to do the fine uh, fine basically uh, I did chip up some of the paint so I'm gonna sand everything uh, repaint it uh, re epoxy the bottom hood and the hinge and uh, do some cleaning up of these little uh, pieces that I don't need anymore that hold the body on so um, I'll do some uh, work on this and get this thing all uh, back together here for another segment um, kind of piecing this together but uh, part after part but to me a high lift Ultima high lift with the uh, custom hood step two we get into step three and uh, step three or four should be uh, working so we'll get the video up for you soon there you go ultimate high lift can't beat it baby talk to you later late